This is the engine room. This is the engine room. This is also... As always, we need some safety gear. Most importantly, earplugs because the engine room sounds like this. There's a few entrances. The most used one is from the engine control room. So let's start off from there. A good number of computer systems and control panels are linked to the engine control room, so the engineers can work their magic from here. Through the fire door, we're into the actual engine space. Let's start off with the main course, the main engine. The whole engine is massive. Four deck high. It can produce 80,000 horsepower, up to 25 knots in flat seas. Forget about the puny V12 Lamborghini engines. Our ship is also V12, but the piston rods alone are twice the size of a human. And you know what they say about large rods? The cylinders are even bigger. You might be wondering, where's all the crew? Well, unlike the past, or future, all cargo ships nowadays, except for passenger and military, are designed for minimum manning. We're talking about 20-something people here on a 400 meter ship. At the back is the flywheel. All that power is transferred to the propellers through the shaft. And the big block is what we call a shaft generator. At a high enough RPM, we won't even need to use the diesel generators at all to power the entire ship. Speaking of diesel generators, we've got five of them. There's numerous machinery systems in the engine room. As a deck officer, some of them I didn't even know existed. But I can definitely bring you to the few important ones. Remember that time when I went into the duck keel? As you can see, the machines are placed in a way with only economics and safety in mind. There's no decorations at all, no room for luxury. The systems are in their pure raw metal form for simple execution. And the engine workshop is no exception. It's big and is well equipped. With the workshop's equipment, we can cut, we can weld, we can build anything we need while we're at sea. Not to mention we already have spare parts for almost every machine on the ship. Now we've been to all parts of the engine room, except for one secret hidden passageway. Once the heroes enter, there's no turning back. The emergency escape is at the bottom deck, near the shaft, and it provides another means of escape other than the entrances. However, it's quite a climb. Once you have made it to the very top, you'll come up onto the upper decks of the ship. So that was a brief tour. Check out my 